the heart of New Orleans, really, uh, at Storyville, which is a really a neat club, the perfect place to do a thing like this. A whole bunch of us have come down here to New Orleans uh, really to see you and to pay tribute to you, Fats Domino. All of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame keyboard players are here tonight. And you. Ray Charles is here tonight, Fats. Right. He came to New Orleans to play with you. What do you think about that? Wonderful. Are you ready for that? Got to be ready. I'm so with, And Ray Charles and Jerry Lee Lewis here Listen, with me. Jerry Lee Lewis is here too. I can't believe how much fun it's been. We played at your house. Uh, boy, Ronnie Wood from the Rolling Stones came down to play with you. Have you met Ronnie's wife, by the way? Josephine? This is Josephine. Fast down. Yeah, hello, Josephine. How do you do? <laughs> she says, how do you do? Everybody is here. We got an all-star band. We got Ray Charles, Jerry Lee Lewis. I'm here, a cat named Paul Schaefer, I don't know. But we want to hear you play. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Willing? I'm able. To rock and roll all night. Fats, go play a couple all of nice right. Okay, we can. thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm Dave McBurnett. In 1986, I produced a wonderful show for HBO Cinemax called Fats Domino and Friends. When you watch this show, you'll see clips of it. But the, when you have Fats Domino, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Ray Charles playing together, there isn't much you got to say about it. That's basically what the New York Times said and People Magazine said. But the three of those men actually worked their butts off to do that with so much respect and care for each other that shows totally in how they play. We had a really good first set. We, we taped all three shows and we're taking a break. And, and uh, Jerry Lee comes up to me and he, he says, uh, I'd like to make it a little bit exciting. Can he destroy the piano? And I said, well, no, you know, because Ray Charles got to play on it. And then fast at the end, I said, you can kill the Yamaha if you want to. And he said, no, 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 the Yamahas are too hard to kill. You know? But he did go up in the piano in the second set without us knowing he was going to do it. He kicked back the old bar stool, the piano stool, kicked it back to put the mic stand up in the piano and then climbed up into the top of the piano, playing it with his feet, and sang one of his most famous, famous rock songs in a very suggested manner. This is one of the finest rock and roll shows that's ever made. And it's now available to purchase online, $14.99, plus shipping and handling. If you want to do that, just go to the website, fatsandfriends.com. We'd be very happy to send you a copy of it. And you won't be doing yourself any, any disservice.